Hello and welcome everyone. This is Amr once again with a new Power Query challenge. Actually, this challenge is depending pretty much on the previous one. That's why I advise you to start by watching the challenge number three before trying to start to solve this one. That's why you will find the link at the end of this video and also in the description box in order to see the previous one. Let's go back to Excel and have a look together. On the left hand side, I have a table containing the employee's data, name, ID, band, and department. I want to create a table using Power Query. It will use information coming from this small table containing only two columns, band and department, in order to filter this data. Let's try together. I'm going to start by trying to filter the band. So I'm going to write A and then enter and right click here and refresh and here you go I have all employees with band A I need to limit my search to only people inside the legal department so I'm going to write legal right click and refresh and here you go I have limited my search to only one employee with band A and working for legal department if I want to expand my search to A and B for bands so I'm going to write B and enter for sure the table will be expanded right click and refresh and here you go employees with band a or b and also working for legal department let me try to expand my department to sales as well right click and refresh and here you go i have employees working for a or b and working for departments legal or sales couple of observations here First one about the case sensitivity, you will see that I ignored the case sensitivity. You can see that A and B are written in small letters. However, the band originally written in capital letters. The second one regarding the direction of the search and the search criteria. If you go down the rows, you will notice that I'm using the OR and I'm saying that he is working with band A or band B and also for departments legal or sales. However, when I'm going across the columns, between the columns, I'm saying AND, meaning that he's working for legal or sales AND with band A or B. So moving across the column using AND and moving down the rows using OR. As you may notice, it is pretty much similar to the previous one. However, we are using a couple of lists in order to search the table rather than one list that we had in the previous one. That's why I'm saying that you can build on some ideas that we used in the previous one, such as list.contains and table.selectRows, and then you can build on them and put your solution for this challenge. If you find a solution or part of a solution, you can share it with me on the email that I'm going to write on the screen right now, and also please use the description you will find on the screen as well. I'm going to share the solution next week and if you send me the solution you will find your name at end of the video. Best of luck and see you next week and bye.